and we're going to look at unrealized gains and losses. We're going to use a graded color scale, green being unrealized gain, red being unrealized loss, and then yellow being somewhere in the middle or just break even. And again, I'm going to change the default rules. I'm going to say if I have a 5,000 or greater loss, give me red. If I have a 5,000 or greater gain, give me green. And anywhere in between, it's going to be yellowish green or yellowish red, depending whether I have an unrealized gain or an unrealized loss. Now, I'm just going to play around with the numbers so you can see that this can be fairly automated if you have numbers that are changing. So if I start playing around with the fair market values here, just so you can see the color scale, as I start changing the numbers, you'll see the colors start changing as well. The powerful thing conditional formatting is it can be almost automated if you have data that's being refreshed. Let's say you have a pivot table. As that data is being refreshed, you can then see, visually see what's happening 